Ladies and gentlemen, London welcomes the world's top disco dancers. Belgium, Barbados, Bermuda, Colombia, Canada, Denmark, France, Hong Kong, Germany, Iceland, Indonesia, Ireland, Israel, Italy, Kenya, Japan, Malaysia, Malta, Norway, Northern Cyprus, Portugal, Singapore, South Africa, Trinidad and Tobago, Sweden, Switzerland, Turkey, Thailand, Southern Cyprus, United Kingdom, USA. Can you imagine having a chorus line of the world's top disco dancers, eh? Something else. Well, welcome to this, the second EMI World Disco Dancing Championship, coming to you live from the Empire Ballroom, Leicester Square, here in London. And somewhere up there live, very much alive, in fact, is David Hamilton. Thank you, Peter. Well, world disco dancing it surely is, with the representatives of 32 disco crazy countries with us. They're here tonight to dance for that magic title, World Disco Dancing Champion, and the prizes that go with it. To dance for you, but above all, to dance for fun. Speaking of prizes, our winner tonight receives a cash prize of £6,000. £4,000 is also shared by the second and third place contestants. The winner also receives this magnificent trophy, plus the very latest in Japanese high-fidelity equipment, and finally will be flown with a guest from his home country to London, and from there go by British Airways Concorde to New York for a week's holiday for two. Wow! Roughly 199,968 competitors from 1,000 discotheques didn't make it here tonight. And that speaks wonders for the 32 who did. So now let's bring the world to our tiny dance floor as we ask you to greet individually the 32 best disco dancers in the world! Hey! Here's contestant number one, Christian Eder from Austria. He's 18 and a dance student. From Belgium comes contestant number two, Merida Kornby. She's 23 and a dancer. And from sunny Barbados comes contestant number three, a 21-year-old waiter, Wavel Nichols. And from Bermuda, contestant number four, Winslow Hollis. He's 21 also, and a waiter. Dig the hat. Here's 
contestant number five from Colombia, Piedad Cespedes. He's 19 and a student. Contestant number six is Everton Milton from Canada. He's 19 and a student. From Denmark, here's contestant number seven, Sis Hedesen. She's 18 and a dance student. From La Belle France comes contestant number eight, Georgette Cala Lobe. She's a student and she's 18 years old. Now, contestant number nine comes from Hong Kong. He's Stephen Lee, 20 years old, and the clerk. From Germany, here's contestant number 10, Christiana Vogel. She's 18 years old, and the retailer. Here's contestant number 11, representing Iceland, Steina Jonsson. He's 22 and a petrol pump attendant. Now contestant number 12 is Asoka Harianto from Indonesia. He's 20 years old and a student. Emerald Isle, Ireland. Here comes Amanda Gibson. She's 19 and an audio typist, and she's contestant number 13. Here's Israel's representative, contestant number 14, Avai Menashe. He's 18 and a soldier. From Italy, here's number 15, Salvatore Presti. He's 19 and a sales representative. And from Kenya, here's contestant number 16, Lucy Buka. She's 18 years old and a musician. Representing Japan, here's number 17, Setsu Yamakuni. He's 22 and a car park salesman. From Malaysia, Lydia Lu, contestant number 18. She's 23 and a ballet teacher. Number 19 from Malta, Mario Casar. He's 22 and an architectural student. From Norway, here's number 20, Ellen Berit Metesen. She is 18 and a student. Sebeish Omer, number 21 from Northern Cyprus. He's 21 and the cook. From Portugal, here's number 22, Manuela de Gavaya. She's 18 and a dancer. Derek Joseph, number 23, from Singapore. He's 18 years old and a student. From 
South Africa, contestant number 24, Lucky Mukenzi. He's 23 and a student. Here's number 25, Alison Long from Trinidad and Tobago. She's 19 and a trainee quantity surveyor. And from Sweden, number 26, this is Michel Roster. He is 19, a student, and a disc jockey. Here's contestant number 27 from Switzerland, Francois Dosset. He's 22, and a choreographer. Representing Turkey, here's number 28, the Air Air Aksoy. She's 21 and a dance teacher. Here's number 29 from Thailand, Song Kiet Chuong Nisai. He's 19 and a student, and he bet me that I couldn't pronounce his name. He was nearly right. Go, 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 go. Southern Cyprus, here's number 30, Kostas Konstinides. He's 18 years old and a cutter in the clothes industry. And here she is, our very own Julie Brown, number 31. She's 20 years old and our current UK disco champion. And here's our final contestant, number 32. From the USA, this is Stephen Puente. He's 23 and a digital data assembly worker. Well, there they are, ladies and gentlemen, the world's top disco dancers. Sadly, that's the last time that you'll see them all together. The judges, who you'll be meeting in a moment or two, have to decide which 15 dancers will excite you further. We're going to take a short break. Don't go away. Welcome back, live to the heart of London and the Empire Ballroom, Leicester Square. Well, this program will be seen in 13 different countries, and so with the eyes of the world upon us, it's important to take a moment or two to explain the judging procedures. Earlier, a panel of experts, dancers, choreographers and dance teachers, placed in conjunction with tonight's international panel of judges, the final 15 from 32 entrants. It's now up to them, our international judging panel. So will you warmly greet now, judge number one, Motown recording star, currently on the charts with, with you I'm born again, Sarita. The Tubular Bells man, one of the top music men in the country, Mike Oldfield. Our next judge, a lady renowned in the world of ballet, and she loves disco dancing too, I'm told, Lynn Seymour. A man currently choreographing the companions for Yorkshire Television and the movie Alice, David Taguri. A great recording star and a lovely little mover, it's Lulu. And finally, the non-voting chairman of our judges, chairman and chief executive of EMI Leisure Limited, Mr. Robert Upstall. 
And those, ladies and gentlemen, are our international judging panel. So, who are the final 15 chosen by our combined panel of judges? Let's find out as non-stop our 15 finalists dance for you and our judges. Remember, they're looking for a creative dance routine, interpretation of the music, personality and visual presentation. Just seven countries to appear in the final round. So, to the music of Ray McVeigh, the voice of Chris Grant, we welcome back the first of our 15 finalists. And first off from Barbados, here comes 21-year-old Wavell Nichols, contestant number three. Wavell's ambition is to become a professional disco dancer and instructor, and he's already won several local dancing we contests in Barbados and in Canada. We were going to be alive. Here is contestant number four again, 21-year-old Winslow Hollis from Bermuda. Singing and dancing are what Winslow enjoys doing most, but at the moment he is working as a waiter, but he's aiming towards a full-time show business career. Here's contestant number six, representing Canada, 19 years old, Everton Milton. Everton is a student, but enjoys playing and watching football in his spare time and, of course, dancing. His hometown is Toronto. Dennis contestant number seven representing Denmark, 18-year-old Sis Pedersen. She heard about the contest through her dance school in Copenhagen, her hometown, where she's a full-time student. Her main interests apart from dancing are horse riding and the culture of the Sioux Indians. And once again, we see Georgette Calalobe, the French contestant number eight. Her travels have taken her as far afield as Africa. The can-can may be a thing of the past, but Georgette's love of dancing shows that disco can still provide the good old joie de vivre. Making her first visit to England since 1976, here's Germany's contestant number 10, Christina Vogel. 
Christina, who hails from Goodersloe, has already won a number of disco dancing titles in her local area. She's also a very keen on Latin American dancing and would love to win a major competition in that field. And once again, here is a very mobile little Colleen from Dublin, contestant number 13, Amanda Gibson, representing Ireland. She's already won quite a number of dancing competitions in her native island, and being the sharp lady that she is, she's invested the prize money. And representing Japan, here again is 22-year-old Setsu Yamakuni, contestant number 17. Setsu, who comes from Hiroshima, is considering making dancing his full-time career. At the moment, he's a car parts salesman. Well, we wish you luck. And no stranger to London is 23-year-old Lydia Liu, contestant number 18 from Malaysia. Lydia, who is a ballet teacher and is uh, much travelled, having been to Austria and Singapore. Lots of countries, but to name a few, hence her excellent command of the English language. And here again is Singapore's contestant, number 23, Derek Joseph. Derek, who's 18, having won the Singapore Championship, is still amazed at his success, as it's the first dancing competition he has ever entered. But he's very philosophical to the extent that he has made no plans at all in the event that he may take the coveted world title. Runner-up in last year's South African Disco Dancing Championship and now representing his country as the 1979 champion is Lucky Mukhetsi, contestant number 24. Lucky's 23, a student, and his ambition is to become a professional dancer and singer. Good luck, Lucky.
And here again you see dancing for Switzerland, contestant number 27, Françoise Gosset. Francois comes from a family of doctors that has broken with tradition by becoming a choreographer, thus incorporating his major interest in music and, of course, the dance. So desire, I stand outside creating all the groovy tender I'm on fire. Yes, I am, and I care for the one so I'm on fire. Yes, I am, and I care for the one so And here again is 18 year old Costas Constance Denides, contestant number 30, representing the Southern Cyprus area. Costas, who comes from Nicosia, is a cutter in the garment industry, but lists dancing and designing as his major interests. He hopes eventually to become a professional dancer. But I'm a man, yes I am, and I can't help but love you so. of the UK rest on the slender shoulders of 20-year-old Julie Brown, contestant number 31. Julie recently emerged as the UK Disco Dancing Championship. She comes from Bridge End in South Wales, and I have no doubt all her family and friends and the rest of the UK wish her the best of luck. And most of the noise is coming from the Bristol crowd. Our final contestant is Stephen Fuentes, number 32, dancing for the USA. Stephen, who is 23, is an assembler for digital data systems, but despite his interest in things scientific, he tells me he would have no hesitation in embarking on a career as a professional dancer. Final 15 there, Peter, weren't they tremendous? Fantastic, really. When you think, David, you know, they're all amateurs competing in a big competition like this, doing their own thing, making up these fantastic routines by themselves. And like, I mean, you know, the individual starts from the robot to acrobatic style, similar to yours, in fact. <laughs> I just do acrobatic dancing. <laughs> but seriously, I tell you, I would hate to be a judge on this. Well, I think you're right, Peter. It's a very, very difficult decision for our judges. Who would you choose at home? We'll be taking a short break to return to our final seven dancers, last year's winner, Tadaki Dan, and our guest artist, Patty Boulay. For the moment, we'll give you and our judges one more chance to see the world's top 15 disco dancers. <laughs> They drink it everywhere. 
to perhaps see that you didn't get a chance to see last year. I did a lot of work, but what was it? Madame Tussauds, well, he's very anxious to see Madame Tussauds, so, but we can arrange that. Now, thank goodness, in the language of dance, there is no barrier. So here he is, Tadaki Dan! Fantastic, Tadaki. Good luck. All the best to you. Tadaki Dan, ladies and gentlemen. Marvelous. Okay. Well, now, fingers crossed, and hopefully we, we're reaching a climax of the show. David, hopefully you've got the, the last seven, right? The last seven finalists. Over to you, David. Yes, I have, Peter. Here we go. The final seven from nearly one million dancers. And without the accepted disciplines of dancing, these seven young people are building their dance for the judges and you. And the judges have to evaluate their performance for that all-important decision. The first of our seven, the judges have voted back, is number six, Everton Milton from Canada. Milton, who has never been abroad before, tells me he's quite impressed with London. He says he likes to think of himself as a slick dresser, but doesn't want to glitter and distract from his dancing. Everton Milton from Canada, good luck.
tonight. The second of our finalists is number eight, Georgette Kalalobi from France. Believe it or not, Georgette has a twin sister. She says they get on very well, but that's where the similarity ends, as they aren't identical. She tells me that she is feeling very nervous, but this, in a funny way, helps her performance. You're absolutely right, Georgette. Vive la France! Contestant number 13, Amanda Gibson from Ireland. And if you're admiring Amanda's disco outfit, you may, may be interested to know that it was made by her mother, who makes all her disco dear. If uh, Amanda goes on dancing as she does at the moment, which is nearly every night of the week, her mama's going to be a very busy lady. The fourth of our seven finalists is number 17, Setsuo Yamakuni from Japan. Now, Setsuo tells me that he's feeling the cold a bit at the moment, but hopes to be used to the climate to see something of London before he leaves. He's hoping to win the title for Japan for the second year running. You never know. Contestant number 23, Derek Joseph from Singapore. Derek's first impressions of London are that it's very clean and full of white buildings and antiques. Well, I hope he isn't talking about David Hamilton. Derek says he's a nervous wreck during rehearsals, but you wouldn't think it to look at him now. The sixth final contestant is number 30, Costas Constantinidis from Cyprus. Costas tells me that more than anything, he wants to have a success in a dancing career. And if that's what he wants, then it's okay by his family. He has admitted to me having one set of sort of nerves, but he says they always disappear as soon as he gets on stage. Quite so. Competitive call back by our judges is contestant number 31, Julie Brown from the UK. Thank you, David. And I'm told that Julie's three brothers and sisters have come along with her parents tonight to support her. And I'm told they all share her pre competition nerves. And Julie says she won't have any nails left by tonight. I hope not.
Ladies and gentlemen, our final dancers from whom our winner will be chosen. Our uh, judges are no, no, now no doubt carefully deliberating the merits of all those competitors. And while they and you are deciding, here to entertain you will you welcome a young lady making quite a name for herself on cabaret and TV. She's British... <laughs> for the rest of your career. How about that? Well, uh, this is it now. Okay, we're coming very near, very near. This is the evening. 
what it's all about, in fact, the announcement of the winners. But before we announce the results, it's my great pleasure to welcome on stage to present the awards the chairman and chief executive of EMI Leisure Limited, Sir Robert, Sir Robert, of still. <laughs> I brought you up in the world, Rob. Bob. Miss Stems and Miss British Airways, wow. Okay. Now, now this is, because this is live television, we do hope that David has the results. David, have you the results? No, I don't, Peter. Oh, don't say that. <laughs> Not even Thank as a you. joke. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. The results. The results. The moment you've been waiting for. Let me tell you that in third place, in third place from Ireland, number 13, Amanda Gibson. Now, in second place, and the runner-up to the World Disco Dancing Champion for 1969, it's number six from Canada, Everton Milton. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. We're going to announce now the name of the EMI World Disco Dancing Champion for 1969. And the winner is, or even 1979. Thank you. The winner is from the UK, number 31. here at the uh, Empire Leicester Square. Thank you very much indeed to Robert Utzel and the ladies. And that's it. Time to say goodnight, Peter. You've got to say goodnight. Me. <laughs> goodnight from Peter. Goodnight from me too. Let's see it and hear it one more time and we'll get it right this time. The EMI World Disco Dancing Champion, 1979. Yeah. 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 Yeah.